uh, it's me Z from Wireless Solution and today we are going to work FRP bypass the Moto E uh, the K10 LG K10 and I'm going to show you how to factory bypass the Google verification account when you hard factory reset uh, the phone I show you in my last video how to hard factory reset it if you forget your password so if you remember your Gmail you can simply put your Gmail and password and uh, it will restart itself but if you don't know your uh, Gmail so now I'm going to show you how to bypass that one so while you are here let me show you that uh, okay let me show you it will take you to that screen the Wi-Fi is turned on connect your Wi-Fi hit next now it's going to be checking connection and then updating the software So guys let's wait for this so in the meantime uh, yeah software updates now it will take you because uh, this phone is going it was being reset while the lock screen so you have to put the same um, gmail account in order to uh, go in otherwise you can read this this device was reset to continue sign up with the google account that was previously scanned on this device let's suppose you forget that um, your gmail and password that you first put in this uh, thing so in this case you will go to the accessibility then go to the vision from vision go into the talkback scroll down text to speech once you then you can see text to uh, google text to speech engine you click on the site setting once you click on the site setting go to the feedback once you go to the privacy and policy it will take you to the this accept and continue no thanks now from here you will type a website it's frp frp dot f zero this is zero this is not o so f i l dot com so you come here click on this one once you click on this one so you, there is step one and step two you will click on click here for step one once you click on step one you can see this sign so first you have to remove you will remove this tick once you remove then press and hold it and it will take you to this screen once it take you to this screen so you will scroll down this is notification so you will hit on notification once you go to the notification then app setting now we are here so click on the side three dots manage accounts continue so it will bring you to the setting <coughs> okay so now we are in the setting from the setting go to general once you go to general you will go here from general okay so in general we are here so you will if you guys can see there will be security option you will come to security when you go come have unknown source it's un um, we cannot do anything so first you will turn off verify apps then go to phone and administration once you go to phone and administration it will be on so you need to deactivate it 
once you click deactivate it then go back go back to the setting app now you will go to the app once you go to the app so there is three dots click on these three dots and show system once you come here so now you will go down and look for wizard setup setup wizard setup wizard you will come here for stop ok come to the storage clear egg go back go to the other setup wizard for stop ok now clear a clear data ok after all these app disable so Weather disable all the uh, so what you need to do clear egg Google Play Store Now you will go here and go to the Google Play services At the upper you will find out Google Play services This Okay Once you come here to the Google Play services you will disable it okay now you disable it now for stop okay clear egg clear space now go back from here what you need to do you need to go back all the way once you came here now you need to turn off the phone and restart the phone So while we are restarting it, it will take a few moments. So now I'm pausing the video when it's restart. So I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so the phone is being restarted. So now let's go. Skip. Next. Skip. No. Now when you come to this screen, the Google enable Google Play service. So you will go click on this one, enable it, give it some time and uh, that's all. And uh, you can now factory reset the phone and it will work fine. Um, you will now factory reset the phone, it will work fine but to be more safe always go to general when you go to general skip down about phone when you go down about phone there is a software info there is building number so you will click on the building number seven time now it will show you are a builder when you go back go back here now this option you can see you are a developer option once you click on here so this enable OEM unlock you will enable it now go to the setting once you enable it go to factory reset the phone back up and restart factory reset okay guys so in this case I need 30% more 
battery for the phone and all you guys need to is restart the phone and it will be good to go thank you so much for watching the video have a nice one enjoy your day